Where was I going? <laughs> Sleep. Don't worry, I'm coming to you. All that I know is I'm falling, falling, falling. So just to recap, I think love is entirely within us. I think it's a series of like actions and um, character traits, just things that we can do, things that we can work on, things that we can like train. It's like a muscle. I think it rests entirely upon us in that it's up to us whether we love or we don't. Like people will do whatever people will do. Life will happen and still, still, you are still in control of your response. <laughs> All I'm thinking about is hitting my bed. Anyway, it's cool. So the reason that was freeing for me is um, because I don't have to wait. I don't have to wait for anything. I don't have to wait for a circumstance. I don't have to wait for a person. And um, one thing that I was touching on earlier is I remember when I was when I was younger, I found loves. And do you know what's okay? Slight tangent. The thing that's so funny, I think now that I I understand what love is. I look back and I'm like, oh my god, that was love. And I didn't know or appreciate it because I was looking for something else. I was looking for the things that they sing about. It was really good for me because now I can look back at a lot of things. And it's like, oh, that was love. And I look forward to a lot of things. And I see love a lot more. Like I see it in um, the way that people treat me, the way they respond to me. I love my mom now, but growing up, like, um, she was a good parent, she was the parent that I needed, like she honestly made me into the human that I am. I know I wouldn't be myself if my mom wasn't my mom growing up. But obviously when you're younger, it's just like, oh, this woman, like can't I rest? Every day is do this, do that. And she would always say like, I can do it myself, but I'm training you. And there's so much love in it and I didn't see it because back then love was if you really love me you take care of me and you make things easier and it just felt like she wasn't doing that it's like you're making my life harder you're always giving me extra work I finished the work you know I add to my load but then now I look back on it and it's like right like that was that was another kind of love that was like another level of love so yeah now that my understanding of love is deepening I'm able to see, I'm able to look back and see it. I'm able to look forward and see it. And I feel like it's really just changed my experience of life. Like life is honestly amazing. I always say like life is actually sweet if you allow it to be. I feel like the, the way that you look at things, the way that you process things, even like now, now that I know that like forgiveness, it exists within me. Like whether I forgive or not is not depending on what the person did or how they did it or how they responded after doing it, it's entirely based on me. Then when people do things to me, it doesn't take away my power. It's not like, oh, because you've done this, I can't be your friend. I can't interact with you. I can't do this, I can't do that. I can do whatever I want. I can choose to continue to interact with you. If that's what I want, then I will do that. If I don't want to do that, then I won't. And taking the Bible's definition for love, there is no distinction. Like love is just straight up love, like love is, all the things that love is all of the time like it's consistent it's complete it's absolute it's unconditional like love is just everything all of the time all of the time regardless of who the the subject is it's always what it is whereas um is it philosophy that categorizes it we have like eros and amanda <laughs> agape and then the others, I think there's like five categories or six of love. And um, that was really interesting to read about and things like that. And it talks about friendship love and um, romantic love and family love and just complete love, agape love. And for me, I don't think there should be a distinction. I think agape love is the only actual love. I think the rest of it, it's just things that we add into it. So it's like, I love you, but you're also my friend and I'm not attracted to you. So I'm gonna call this platonic. But the root of that, it's still the same love, but it's like, these are all the other things around it. You know how I was talking about marriage earlier? And I was like, Mar love should definitely be there. <laughs> it's important, but it's the things around it where it's like, oh, okay, this is why this is marriage. And the things around this, this is why this is family. It's not the love that changes. It's just the things that come around it. That's how I, that's what I think. That's where I'm at. So yeah, <laughs> being in this place again, like I was saying, it's freed me up because now it's like, there isn't only one person that I can love. I can literally love everybody. 
and then whoever I marry, it's because of the extra stuff. And by God's grace, I'll find the extra stuff with somebody. But if I don't, do you know what's more important to me right now? I want to find the extra stuff within myself because in the same way that I was able to find love within myself and it opened me up to be able to love everybody and receive all of the love, I feel like the other stuff as well, if I find it within myself, that's going to open me up to be able to receive it from whoever I'm supposed to receive it from. The stuff that you hear about in songs is awesome, it's cool, but that's not sustainable love, like that's the love that becomes confusing. And even when you get there, you might experience it, but it, it never lasts. And if it, even if it does last for a drawn out period of time, I don't think it's healthy and it's just inefficient. <laughs> oh my God, it's such, it exhausts all your resources like in the beginning, like all you can think about is that it, it's not healthy. That's the point that I'm trying to make. It's not healthy. Whereas true love, it's so healthy. It grows you. It strengthens you. It, it empowers you. It enriches you. It teaches you. It educates you. It opens your mind to everything. Like actual love is such. Everyone needs it. We all need. I think just to be regular people who evolve with time. Like just people. We need it for ourselves. It's not even about anybody else. We need it for our own selves. The other stuff is cool, but. I feel like it deteriorate. It can deteriorate you, you it can chip away at you. It's not good for you. It's good for you. Thanks. I don't think so. The takeaway is just that God is good. <laughs> God is good. He's amazing. And again, God and love. I feel like the two can be interchangeable because everything that we've seen in God throughout the Bible is love. Like everything that we've seen, everything that God has shown and given to us, every experience that we've had with him is love. So to me, God is love and love is such a beautiful thing. Like it strengthens you, it grows you. I feel like having learned about love this year, I've grown the most as a person. And not only in my re relationships with other people, but my relationship with myself, like I've grown so much to the point where I am, I now allow myself to grow. I would have never, <laughs> this whole YouTube thing, I would have tried to do this, like what I'm doing now with my life. I would have done it, oh my God. I was stunting my growth, all because I didn't know how to love. <laughs> and then now that I've learned how to love and I've just really accepted myself and I'm like, do you know what, let me do it. Let's, let's fall forward, do things, like try things. If you fall, it's all right, I'm gonna be here to pick you up okay you don't need somebody else to like be cheering you because that's why i, I said i was gonna go and look at me but <laughs> that's i think part of that was like why i was so reluctant to fail because it's like i can't fail because this is how people see me and if i deviate from that then they're not going to be able to love me because they only love me in this specific form and now i'm able to just really accept myself and it's like do you know what let me do no matter what you look like no matter what you're doing with your life no matter what your hair is saying like i love and accept you and when once you're able to do that for yourself i feel like you allow other people to do that until you do until you love and accept yourself it's going to be very difficult for you to allow other people to love and accept you and anyway, cool. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go to bed <laughs> but um Oh, that's why I was going. I wanted to give a takeaway. Okay, takeaway, bro. It's important, man. Do do your own study, obviously. I can only tell you um, from my point of view, and it could change tomorrow. I could be something else, and I could be somewhere else tomorrow. So, don't take what I'm saying. This is just my experience. If you just want to hear someone talk about it, this is me doing that. Um, definitely read about it. I, if you're a Christian, go to the Bible. Um, if you're not, philosophy, I would recommend that. If I wasn't a Christian, I would, well, to be honest, I, I read a lot. <laughs> I, I read a lot into philosophy right now, watch a lot of videos, read a lot of books. Um, but that's just my interest. But I think those two things have more substance to me than anything that I've ever experienced like anywhere else. It's so weird to say, even though like I'm still the same person and there's still so much that I want to do, but I feel so complete right now. And um, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie to you. God gave me the, at that, I, I can't see how that exists outside of God. Um, but philosophy is definitely interesting. The intersection between uh, philosophy and religion is 
a sweet spot. When I first started getting into philosophy, I didn't want to, I tried to stay away from it because um, a lot of like the philosophers that I was really interested in, they were all atheists. So I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to uncover whatever you uncover because I don't want to go down that road. And um, that's another thing that I learned in the middle. I don't think we should shut ourselves off from anything because that's how you become ignorant and i feel like if you really believe in what you believe in and like you know this is a fact then i have nothing to fear like again within you apply wisdom obviously don't um, shout live your life <laughs> live your life but um live it with love because it's so much so much better so much sweeter and i'm not talking romantic love i'm just talking love because love is just love all the other things that you want to add that's your business that's your flavor but when i say live your life with love just straight up unadulterated love the love that comes from god cool that's going to be the takeaway go away with love <sighs> okay bye All I know is I'm falling, falling, falling.